Good morning, kids. Or should I say good afternoon? It all depends on when you are going to be watching this. I know you're really excited about seeing me on your iPad. What I'm going to be telling you is what we are going to be doing today and tomorrow. I really apologize for not being here today, but I'm trying to get to be a better teacher. I know. Impossible. I'm already awesome. But... The district says, I need this training. So, you may hear some snickering, you may hear some laughter, but that's just my wonderful first period that is going to be very, very good. Yeah! <laughs> anyway, what we are going to be doing, and if you look at the paper that uh, is on your desk, hopefully uh, by now, is a black history of... Project. Now, if you look at it, um, at the top there, it says, Your town has authorized the creation of a new monument along Main Street. We're in a fictional town here. The town council has approved the monument with the request that it honor a historically prominent African American. You and your partner will work to research and decide on the person and also design the monument. You will create a PowerPoint presentation and deliver it to, and I forgot to change this, it shouldn't be Congress, but the town council. Kind of changed it up here. Basically, what you have is a project that you can work with a partner or by yourself. Okay, that's it. Now, if you look at option one, option one goes through the research steps. It's a PowerPoint presentation. Uh, you will be presenting in front of the class. The class will then be voting on what they feel is the best monument. That will then go into a school-wide competition against Mr. Latimer's uh, monument designs. Now, we all know those will be junk compared to the designs that you put together. I'm counting on you. Do not make me look bad. Anyway, if you look, what I would really encourage you to do today, and listen, please, Okay. Today, you need to, one, think of if you want to do the solo or with a partner, uh, and two, find out that African American that you want to research. Now, please note, um, number one, find an African American to research. He or she must be born prior to 1930. So you cannot pick any sort of modern-day musicians, athletes, uh, entertainers. These have to be people born before 1930. Now, I would really recommend thinking about things like maybe the first African American to fly a plane, the first to graduate from Harvard. These are good ways of, of thinking, and then you're going to research uh, this person. You will have to include, if you look, a brief history of their childhood, where they were born, education, uh, their living conditions, basically their background. What are their accomplishments, their contributions? Why should this person have a monument? Then you will create a PowerPoint, and you will have time <laughs> tomorrow to be working on this. Right now, presentations will probably be on Thursday or Friday. I have not yet determined. It all depends on how many people are going to present. Today, I would really recommend finding that uh, person and start researching. Now, if you flip your paper over onto the back, this is option two, and it's individual only, and you are not eligible for any sort of competition. Um, it's the same sort of thing, except for instead of a monument, you'd be creating a commercial recognizing uh, a significant African American. Uh, you also include a brief history of their childhood, their accomplishments and contributions, but it's not on a PowerPoint. It's on a, a commercial, which you can use iMovie or any sort of other technological device, um, but you are not eligible for the school-wide competition. It's only for the monument. So today, like I said, just focus on finding that individual you find interesting and doing some research. Tomorrow, you'll be able to work on putting together a PowerPoint, maybe working on your uh, movie. Uh, but other than that, that should be anything. Now, if you have any questions, tough. I'm not going to be there to answer them. But save them for tomorrow, and I'll be happy to answer them. 
Please make sure you use your time wisely, because it's only today, and it's only tomorrow. After that, you're on your own. So with that, make sure that you do well. I want to hear a great report from the guest teacher, and I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, you! Yeah.